Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, today we're driving a Ford Aeromax I found on ATSmods.lt. It's actually on the first couple pages. You cannot miss it. And somebody updated it for 1.38. That's the version of American Truck Simulator that we're on here today. A very nice looking truck. We're in LA. We're going to be picking up some rice and taking it up to Fresno, I believe. So not too long of a, a hop, but uh, we would still have to uh, pull into a dock here at Costco and pick up. This is a custom uh, utility 3000 R trailer. I forget who makes this one. Uh, I believe I got it on the workshop or somewhere. I don't really remember, um, but I went ahead and activated it and I'm going to give it a shot. Now, it did have opening doors in the back, but I have no clue how you do that. And this is the interior of the Ford Aeromax, a very interesting looking truck. It's like almost futuristic, but old at the same time uh, from the outside view and from the interior. Um, but a very nice looking truck. We got an Eaton Fuller 13 speed shifter in here today. We've got a little Tom Tom action and you can see what they even have the uh, parking brake and the trailer brakes all on the left hand side a very interesting looking setup here in the aramax so we had a 550 horsepower cat engine in this thing i want you to listen to this when i fire it up because it's got a great sound set to it oh yeah she comes to life nice it's got a good horn to it not too shabby eh Okay, we got our uh, four ways on parking brake is set. We're going to release that. Uh, you can roll the windows down actually in this truck since they did update it for that, which is nice. So we can actually open our windows on the back in here to pick up the rice. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. Well, happy Monday to all of you. I hope you had a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk about what I was up to this weekend and get you caught up on some things. But uh, yeah, no, I... Hope you had fun. Let's go ahead and swing into that dock. It looks like where we're going, which is kind of strange because it doesn't seem like it's a dock at all, does it? Not at all. You'll notice I got my wheel uh, all set up here a little bit differently than, a little bit more different than I have. I have it tilting forward now like an actual truck, which I think is really cool. Listen to how awesome this thing sounds from the outside view. Just a cool truck, man. Really cool truck. All right, that ought to be pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and start backing her in. On back we go. We got to get this thing around a little square here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we should be good here. I just got to give ourselves some room here on the right because this Aramax has got a long nose on it, man. A very long nose. Yeah, this is working out pretty good here, looks like. Let's keep her on coming back. It's weird because there's no dock there. It's just uh, those white lines there. Interesting. It's kind of throwing me off, actually, because I'm used to this being a dock drop, but that's okay. A little bit to the right here. And we should be golden on back. we go. So, yeah, other than getting the, uh, the wheel a little bit more realistic, we are using the Southern Trucker Gaming Eaton Fuller 18 speed shifter knob on top of my TH8A. And uh, the wheelbase I use is a Thrustmaster TSPC racer. As you can see, it says right there. Well, I don't know if you can actually see it, but uh, that is what we're using. And then an NRG Innovations rim on it. It's actually the uh, Ferrari. I think it's the Ford 99XX Thrustmaster wheel base. And then I use a Rickmotec adapter piece for it. There we go. They're happy with that. And we are too. All right, we'll take that. Go ahead and just kill the engine. Turn our flashes off. We don't need those on. And we're ready to load the cargo. And 11.36 a.m. That wasn't too long to get loaded. We'll take that 100%. All right, let's fire this bad boy up from the inside view so you can hear it. Come to life. Very nice. <laughs> All right, parking brake in. Put her into first gear. Let's get rolling on out of here. Now, I do float my gears, uh, if you notice, and the, the camera will probably show it a little bit better. But I do float the gears when I'm driving these big rigs in America Truck Sim. Sometimes we'll do some uh, double clutching just for the hell of it, but for the most part, when we get going down the road, we're, that's what we're using. I don't know where this baby likes to shift, but it looks like it likes to shift closer to 2,000. However, we're just going to sit in the 1500 range just to be safe. Just to be somewhat realistic. 
instead of, uh, you know, over revving the engine or something. So we're going to get a little bit of those. I haven't driven this thing very much yet. I just literally drove it across the street from that garage where I just bought it. <laughs> All right, we'll make a left turn here. Look at the arrow. The size of that arrow on the interior. That is so cool. Make it through here, no problem. Do any of you remember the Aeromax and how awesome of a truck it was? We'll just hang out here in this lane. That works for me. There we go. We'll roll our windows up so we can hear ourselves talk and get caught up on some things. There we go. We're going to be making a left up here, so we're going to go ahead and get in this lane anyway. That works for me. Okay, that car's going to go. That's kind of confusing, isn't it, that light? Because it looks like we're in a turn-only lane, but we're not. So, okay. We can, we can, uh, we can do that. Ooh, yeah, see, it's, it seems like the truck wants to be in, you know, a shifting range of 2,000 based off the sound of the engine. 1,500 seems so low for this thing, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. That's okay, though. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't know what actual one it wants there. It's going to be a little bit of a getting used to this transmission and all that. I'm so used to a 18 speed and we're driving a 13. The only difference between that is that the 13 doesn't, you can't uh, split your gears in the basement. You can in the, uh, you know, the upper gears, but uh, that's about it. Ooh, what am I doing? Getting the first gear. There we go. Which is fine. I don't know how somebody got a little bit of a miscommunication or something in the last video. I was talking about that stuff, and um, I actually don't split any of my lower gears when I'm driving a uh, the 18 speed, unless I'm going up a huge hill or something, you know, like that. But other than that, no, not really at all. Yeah, see, 1500 just seems so low for this engine. I don't know, man. It, I'm having issues with it maintaining speed in that. Put it all the way in first gear here. Let's try 2000. Yeah, see, 2000 seems to make more sense to me. I don't know. I think we'll just do 2000 today. It just seems like 1500 is just way too low and it's bogging it down. That's okay. It's a sim. We're not a real truck driver or anything like that, so it's not going to hurt this virtual engine. I promise you that. Let's hear the uh, Jake break on this. That's got a good sound of Jake. Outside view action here, so we can listen to this thing. Cool looking truck, man. I think we're getting on the highway. This is that Jake break from the outside view. Let's get actually on the highway here and we'll uh we'll turn our engine brake on when we need to in a minute i don't think we're on the highway they're just on a, on a surface street aren't we no it seems like we're on the highway what happened there Was somebody getting an accident or being stupid one of the two we definitely want north that's what we want all right so now we can split our gears no problem which you want to with a 13 when you're in those higher gears so that works out for us here but yeah, this Jake brake sounds amazing in this truck, man. Maintain that 55 miles per hour since we are in California and you know how that goes. Okay, that's cool. A little realistic there. You know, somebody just cut cutting you off like that and then hitting the brakes right after. So that's really, that was really nice of him to get over here in this lane because I think we're supposed to get in this one. Yep. Oof. This uh, road is a little... Uh, Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and just drop down into this gear here. And we're going to go around the rosy here. So, election day is coming up. You guys know I don't ever talk about politics here on the channel. Uh, there's no reason for, you know, that here when we're, you know, a gaming channel and we're all just having fun. Being dum-dums. Actually, fifth gear is working out really nice here. So, we're just going to stick with it. Um, but I wanted to say, you know... You should get out there and vote. 
just do it. I went yesterday and voted. Uh, you know, I'm all about voter confidentiality and all that stuff, so we're not discussing any of that. Just, you know, go out and do it. Uh, and if you if you don't, then don't complain about it. That's that's pretty much it. That's all I really had to say about it. All right, we got a truck here. I need to get in the left lane. Come on, truck. Go. Go. Keystone Ice. Thank you. Good God, man. And that dude just doesn't want to let me over either, that, that van. Man, California's road systems are screwed up. I am not a huge fan of them. All right. We're going to go ahead and drop into the next gear here. Yeah, I think that 2000 just works really well for this truck. It could be wrong, but uh, that's okay. I'm going to get a screenshot while I'm out here hauling down the road. If this stupid van will go around us. Come on, dude. Go around us. Just hovering. It's not a van. It's a, uh, it's like a suburban. It is indeed a suburban. All right. Got a little bit of a screenshot there. So we'll have something nice for the thumbnail. I'm just going to hang out in this lane right here. And we are in the final gear. I got to say, man, having the uh, tilt on the wheel like the real truck is such an improvement. I don't know what it is about it, but it just feels like way better, especially when backing trailers in and stuff. I just like it. I do. I do. So getting you caught up on some other things. Man, this road is uh, back and forth here. Got the motion platform running. And I'm feeling it. Steep grades coming up. We're going to get in the right-hand lane because we know that that's going to be a thing soon. Uh, but to get you uh, caught up with everything here, I'm going to drop down that gear. We are currently in the process of appraisal with the new home. So that is a good thing. Okay, this guy's going real slow here. What are you doing? Yeah, we're going real slow. That's okay. We knew it was coming. Um, so that's the step we're at right now. So it's not too bad. It's just a matter of waiting for that to happen. And uh, it's been really good, though, because the sellers have uh, been super cooperative during the process. So it got, uh, you know, the house got inspected and it did really well on the inspection. There are some things like termites and things like it's an old, uh, you know, it's, an, it's a, not old, but it's a, a wooden home. So you have, you know, wood destroying organisms like uh, termites like that. And there's, it was just small little things like that, but uh, they're taking care of all of that. And then they agreed to go in quite a bit of money on the closing costs. So it's been awesome. I'm just ready for it to be closed on and we could be looking like uh, closing on the house could be, uh, you know, maybe around Thanksgiving, maybe the beginning of the year i don't know hard to say but i'm ready for it i'm stoked i've never bought in a house before we've always uh, you know just rented from place to place and so this is a big deal for us to to finally get into that spot where we can do that we don't need the runaway ramp today i hope i hope i hope i kind of stick to it right here there we go Going to the next gear. That's the biggest thing with the 13 speed is you have such a jump in RPMs from that. Woof. <laughs> it's so cool in the in the motion chair feeling all those bumps in the road. All right. I think we're going to be sticking to five. Maybe 99, though. Let's see what it wants us to do. Don't want to get in trouble with the police doing, you know, over 55 in, in California. They don't like that. Well, looks like we're going to be sticking to the left, so I'm going to get in the middle lane here just in case that's a thing. That'll work for me. Just going to roll with the punches here. Yep, we're in the right spot. That's such a great sound of Jake. Engine brake. Don't call it a Jacob's brake. It's not a Jacob's brake. Well, who knows? It could be a Jacob's brake in this truck. I assume it probably would be. But yeah, I, I do know it's a uh, a brand of an engine brake. I just will always and forever call it a Jake brake. There we 
go. So that's eight low there, and then we have eight high. And we'll be in our last gear. I just bought the truck, so we should be fine on fuel, and it looks like that is the case from what I can tell. But let me know what you think of the Aeromax in the comments below. Maybe you have a uh, story associated with it. I don't know. Man, we are speeding our butts off here in California. We should probably slow her down just a bit. It's too easy to speed in this area. It really is. Like st We're still speeding going uphill. That just shows you, man. This has got a great engine in it in this truck. Feels like we have our headlights on, but we don't. It's kind of strange. So as far as uh, customization for this Aeromax, there's nothing. So basically you can change out like uh, painted or chrome on the on the bumper and stuff, but there's not any like big customization you can do to it. What are we doing here, you dumbasses? Good Lord, man. Every time they do this, like how stupid can you be? Slamming the brakes as per usual. Get back up to speed. All right. I'm ready for Colorado, man. Definitely ready for Colorado. I think it's going to be fun to explore a new state. And I've got to say, you know, I haven't had any big stutters and probably, like, well, I just talk about it and there's one there, but I haven't had too many issues with uh, stutters ever since, you know, resetting that motherboard back to factory. So that's been nice, but it looks like it wants to stutter here, so. Perhaps all the stutters aren't gone. Should have the new PC very, very soon. Very soon, actually. And we'll talk about the specs of that and all that whenever the time comes for it. But until then, we're just enjoying with what we've got. Oh, careful there. Yeah, this, this road is like back and forth. Back. I don't know if you see my legs bouncing around here, but man, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I am feeling it indeed. So we'll have to see uh, how everything pans out with the home, but I'm going to keep you up to date, you know, uh, up to date with the process for sure. And then I will definitely do a, a home tour and stuff later on down the road once we get uh, settled in there. But it all worked out, you know, because I was worried that, you know, we would end up closing on that house early on. And then after that, oh man, we are speeding. Um, and then after that, you know, having to eat the cost on this lease that we have, but it's going to work out. It's going to be all fine. So I'm, uh, I'm super happy about how it all turned out. Any games you guys are excited about? You excited for uh, cyberpunk? You know, we'll be playing it. I mean, I'll, I'll put those theories to rest. You know, we'll, we'll definitely be playing that game. How could we not? When we get closer to Fresno here, I'll uh, roll the windows down and we'll have a little bit of a sound session with this truck because I'm telling you what, man, it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, especially with the uh, Jakes. Looks like we're getting close to Fresno now. Went to, uh, what was it? Hollow Scream at Bush Gardens last night. Hollow Scream. Wore mask the entire time and was safe and I just walked around it's it's not like you know you're you're in a huge grouped up place and you know that's something that was really cool to see these theme parks are being very very smart about the uh social distancing and mask requirements and all that stuff and I was happy to see that because you know I was avoiding people like the plague of course as the numbers of cases have been rising across the United States again because people are dumb and you can go out and you, if you're just driving, you know, up to the store or something, you'll see people just, they don't care. You know, not wearing a mask, nothing. Just it's, it, it is what it is for the most part, because, uh, you know, hope of hearing this vaccination, it just kind of made people start to go crazy again. But the problem is we need to stay home. 
you know, stay home and and all that stuff. You know, you got to go out once in a while so you're, you don't become crazy. I mean, this has been a long time coming. So, uh, you know, Hollow Scream was the first time we've gone out into the public in so long. And now with this mass culture, I was thinking about that. How crazy has that got to be for the kids, you know, growing up around this time to see mass culture the way it is? That's so strange. But a lot of the kids, they're just kind of rolling with the punches, man. I'm going to go ahead and put our cruise control on here. There we go. I don't have to fight it so much. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, man, how weird is that? So for Halloween, we uh, put a bowl of candy out on a little table in front of the house. And I put like a red light out there and some skulls that light up that we had around. And we had quite a few trick-or-treaters, believe it or not. I was pretty blown away by that. All right, cruise control off. Slower on down. There we go. Let you listen to the sounds of this truck. First gear. <laughs> I missed that one. see much out of those windows. Yeah, I know. Customer expects it early. Now. We'll, we'll be okay. I promise you. We're almost there. Man, we're getting some big frame drops as we came into Fresno here. We're going there to that Walmart, I believe, on the right. I think that's where we're going at least but what a great sound of truck right it is a cool sound of truck if you ask me okay yep looks like we're gonna be a tight turn into the walmart center here so we're gonna go all the way left into this lane and we'll see where they want us to drop it looks like it's in the back today so that's cool all right and kill that turn our flashes on Oh, yeah, that's plenty of room for that to get in there. We'll take her on to the back. Yeah, getting a lot of frame drops here in Fresno, so I'm not sure what that's about. Missed the print. Nice and easy this way. Yeah, I really enjoyed driving this truck today. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right. Let's see where they want this thing at. Is it a dock back here? Probably. Oh, yeah, I think it is because it has these two ramps. And then the dock is pretty unoccupied here. They got a truck there to make things difficult. But I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, it's this one over here. Oh, cool. This, this shouldn't be too bad unless we overthink it and overdrive it, as per usual. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. It's dock number 20 today. All right. And I think with this drop, they're actually going to let us hit the dock, which would be really cool. We'll see how that goes. Swing around this way. Swing around fun town. All right. Let's see how we're set up here. Pull the window down. Looking pretty good. Straight on back. We should be all right. Dock number 20. I want to smack the fence over there. That'd be stupid, wouldn't it? Yeah, this thing turns pretty decent, this trailer. It does have a uh, lift axle on it. You can lift that up back there, which is really cool if you need it. In fact, we can go ahead and do that. I'll show you. Okay. Well, axle lift will fail. Axle, axle lift failed. Whatever. Okay. Whatever that means. Maybe not enough air or something. I don't know. All right. Let's go ahead and pull her up here to the right. 
gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt for this one, it looks like. But it's just because of the Aeromax's nose is huge. Don't tell it I said that, because it's mean. It's mean to say. All right, I want to bump the dock, so I'm gonna try to get it just right for that. See it right there. Uh, a little bit more left, and we can bump the dock. There we go. There. Angle it that way. Well, it'll be close enough, I think. Yeah, I know they like it, but I want to bump the dock. Come on. Come on now. A bit further back. There it was. <laughs> nice. Boom. Awesome. There we are. Docked at uh, number 20. That worked out for me. Let's see what we ended up getting. If we got in trouble, I don't know. Uh, nope, we did it. Excellent. 223 miles, 6 hours, 9 minutes, 40.6 gallons of fuel consumed. And what a cool looking truck that was indeed. Well, folks, that'll do it for this video of American Truck Simulator. Again, let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available. If you check out the link in the description below, and uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.